Good afternoon. My name is Jay Coleman, physician recruiter with Rochester Regional Health. To my left is my partner, Amy Keenan, senior recruiter with Rochester Regional. Amy, tell us a little bit about your background and the recruitment process here at, RG, at Rochester Regional. Wonderful. Thanks for having me, part of Facebook <coughs> Live today. I really appreciate it. So I am senior recruiter. Uh, with Rochester Regional Health. I work in talent acquisition and I am loving every minute of it. I really do. Um, it's, it's certainly great to be part of the team. Fantastic. When applying for positions, what makes a great candidate and how may a candidate differentiate themselves and stand out from other applicants applying for the same position? So that's a great question. Um, I, I hear that a lot. Uh, so I would say the first step would be to visit our careers page. Um, and take a look at all the opportunities. Maybe there's just one, maybe there's a whole bunch. Apply for those opportunities, that's the first step. And uh, the appropriate recruiter would certainly reach out to you if you are qualified for the, um, the position. They'll reach out, have a conversation uh, with you and talk with you a little bit further. And I would say when you do have those conversations, be enthusiastic, you know, show them that you're very passionate about the position. That's really what would set you apart from all the other individuals that are applying for the same position. Wonderful. Once you've reached out and established contact and interest in that candidate, how might a candidate best prepare for an on-site interview? Another great question. You've got great ones today. <laughs> um, perfect. I would say, um, you know, be prepared. Ask the recruiter. Um, what shifts are going to be for this position. Um, get that up front and be truthful about that. You don't want to go to the interview and have the recruiter say one thing when you meant to say another thing. Bring a resume. Um, you know, being prepared, it's so important. It shows the leader um, in the system that you are very interested. You want to be prepared for it. Dress appropriately. Um, you know, you don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed, of course. <laughs> you want to dress appropriately. Put your best foot forward, of course. Um, and maybe take a dry run by of the location too. If you're not sure, ask the appropriate recruiter where you're going. Um, take a run by over the weekend if it's on a, if your interview is on a Monday. You know, drive by, make sure you know where you're going, check out the parking, and so forth. What is the best part about your job, and why healthcare? The best part about my job. So I recruit for advanced practice providers, uh, which are physician assistants, nurse practitioners experienced nurses as well. The best part of my job is to go home at the end of the day knowing that I helped someone land their dream job. It really hits me right here. Um, it's, it's fantastic. And also it's, it's really big for me because um, Rochester Regional Health does so much for our community and it's about giving back for me. Um, you know, I'm so I'm so thankful to be part of such a great system. And I know you will be too, so you have to check out our careers page and see what opportunities are out there for you. Is, there, is it wrong to apply for more than one position? Can you repeat the question? Is it wrong to apply for more than one position? No, no, absolutely. It's just showing that you're interested in other areas. I, I highly recommend it. I see it all the time. Um, you know, if, for example, if it's a, a nursing position, you know, maybe there's different areas you're interested in emergency, um, maybe oncology too. It's okay. Definitely do that. It shows that you're interested in other areas. I recommend it. When you're submitting a resume, specific formatting, is there one PDF or doc or Word docs? What's the best format for resumes? When submitting a resume, what would be the best format? Should it be a PDF, Word document? Should they include an addendum or a brief summary on their background? Sure, um, great question. Um, you could do a Word format, you could do a PDF, whatever um, works best with your, system, um, your computer. Uh, PDFs, nobody can change that information, so it, it could be a safer approach. Um, a cover letter is always a good way to go too. You can show um, you know, just kind of an objective of what areas you're interested in. I recommend both. Is there a particular place right now that we are looking for applicants? Is there a particular place that we would be looking for applicants? All areas are interested in Rochester Regional Health. Um, I would certainly recommend going to our careers page, um, checking out areas that you might be interested in, um, really. And if you see something, apply. Just because it's around the holiday season, still apply. It doesn't mean that we're not looking and we won't be hiring. 
Well, thank you for your time this afternoon, Amy. Uh, greatly appreciate spending some time with, here with you this afternoon. If, if the audience has any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or my partner, Amy, or better yet, visit our career page and uh, take a look at our fun and exciting opportunities. Thank you.